Hurricane Michael is slamming the Florida panhandle right now. It is the strongest storm to make landfall in the continental U.S. since Hurricane Andrew in 1992. This is a look at the damage here left behind in Mexico Beach, Florida, after it hit with after it was hit, oh actually, goodness. 155 mile per hour winds. You can see the trees there, roofs of the buildings, millions of people across six straight states now under hurricane warnings and watches as the storm is expected to blow over Georgia now and the Carolinas in the next few days. And imagine starting a vacation in Florida's panhandle, then having to quickly pack up and get out of the way of that hurricane. Oh, that's exactly what happened to families from Cold Spring during the past few days. Nine on your sides. Tom McKee actually spoke with one family. Certainly glad to be home, Tom. Well, you can say that again. It's certainly true. Megan McCloskey, her husband, their three children and a family friend settled in on Saturday for a long anticipated vacation in Panama City. Hours later, they were packing up, heading home to Cold Spring to avoid this monster storm. Megan McCloskey spent time Wednesday checking out live coverage of Hurricane Michael ripping into Panama City. She was stunned at what she saw and glad her family was safe. Definitely dodge the bullet. You know, when you hear where it could possibly land, you always kind of think, oh, it probably won't hit, you know, where we are exactly, but this time it did. They arrived in Panama City on Saturday, knowing a storm was brewing in the Gulf of Mexico, a tropical storm that could possibly become a hurricane. And then by Monday afternoon, after we'd eaten lunch and got back up to the condo, my friend's husband came up and said that they were talking about everyone evacuating the condo by 6 a.m. the next morning. The mandatory evacuation notice that followed prompted an easy family decision. Luckily, we hadn't unpacked a lot, so we just kind of packed back up and got all the kids back in the car and headed back north. The McCloskeys didn't have insurance for their trip, but... Because it was a mandatory evacuation, they credited um, the nights, the Tuesday through Saturday night, and they actually canceled our flight, so they refunded all the fees for that too. As the storm rages, there's no doubt the McCloskeys feel fortunate. Definitely, I would never have imagined that it would have got this bad, but definitely glad that we are not down there experiencing that right now. And I would imagine a lot of other families feel the same way. The McCluskey family plans to return to Panama City next year with a close eye on the weather. And Craig and Tanya, who knows what they're going to be able to return to.